Gold Roger is probably the most iconic character in One Piece. Right next to Luffy, Doflamingo, Ace, and of course, the fan favorite, master of the sickle sickle fruit, Eric the Wise, RIP. And with the most recent chapters of One Piece, and the next few to come, it looks like we're going to learn so much more about Roger when he was in his prime. Now, I've been hearing a lot of talk in the community that Roger is stronger than Garp was when they were in their prime. I really don't make analysis videos, I usually just leave that to the Mr. Morges and the Bragos, but this compelled me to speak my piece. We don't have enough information to definitively say that Roger was stronger. We don't even know anything about Roger's fighting prowess. We can assume he knows all three forms of hockey and that he uses a sword. Honestly, we don't even know that much. We just know that he has a sword. And to be king of the pirates, he must have immense conqueror's hockey. That's pretty much it. We know that Whitebeard couldn't beat him, or at the very least wouldn't beat him, and that Whitebeard was stated to be the next person in line to finding the One Piece. And Roger even offered to tell Whitebeard where the One Piece was before he died, but Edward refused. So I guess to better understand how strong Roger is, we first need to know what does it mean to be Pirate King. The community likes to talk about Pirate King as being this unstoppable force of ultimate power, right? But the idea that was set from the beginning of the story was find the One Piece and you become Pirate King. Now, did Roger become Pirate King because he found the One Piece, or did he become Pirate King because he made it to the final island? I was under the impression that Roger created the One Piece, or at least it, it, nobody knew about it until he said something. Now, Nekamamushi and Inarashi, they both told us that Raftal was not the final island, but it was stated that Roger conquered the entire Grand Line. Luffy wants to become Pirate King because Pirate King to him is a person with the most freedom. But that's not really what it, the world considers to be the Pirate King. For some reason, after the time skip, Luffy changed his goal, not completely, but just tweaked it to taking down the Yonko. This made everybody start to think that the only way to become Pirate King is to be stronger than the Yonko. That's not 100% true. Even Roger himself didn't defeat Big Mom. He just read her pony glyph and then escaped, just like Luffy. Now knowing what we know about the Rocks Pirates and the God Valley incident, we get a bigger scope of Roger's power, sure, since he was needed to help Garp defeat the Rocks. But even with this, we need more context. From what we've seen in One Piece, the reason people fight directly impacts their overall strength. For example, Luchi vs. Luffy, Katakuri, even the entire Impel Down arc. Looking back at the training with Rayleigh, when he was asking Luffy how he would handle battling somebody stronger than him, Luffy said it depends on the person's character. Great scene, definitely top 10 flashbacks for me. This impressed Rayleigh, leading me to believe that Luffy reminded him more of Roger yet again. Roger seems to fight to protect, not to conquer. Now, let's talk about Shanks, the only member of the Roger crew to make a name for himself after Roger's execution. The way Shanks rolls is strictly crew powered. Yes, I'm sure he can handle most things on his own, but when it comes to serious fights, he usually brings his crew, i.e. the Paramount War, or War of the Best, whatever you guys want to call it. This could be something he picked up from his former captain. And if we want to talk parallels to Luffy, Nami mentioned back at Hoke Island that if we wanted to fight Big Mom all out, then we would have brought the entire crew. So to get back to the Guy Valley incident, I don't believe that it was just Garp and Roger taking on the entire Rocks crew and winning. That's ridiculous to me. I'm sure Roger's crew was there, along with a handful of marines on Garp's end, and since this was to protect the Celestial Dragons, I wouldn't put it past Otosama Sensei Dano Senpai to have members of the Cypher Pole and even the Gorosei involved, but that's just speculation. Regardless, we really don't have much to go on on how strong Roger was physically, but what we do know is his accomplishments and how his crew and the people who actually knew him felt about the guy. Now yes, does Roger have to be extremely strong to elude Garp and earn the respect of all the Yonko and the world government? Of course, but to scale how strong he was, you can't say he was stronger than Garp. And as for the Yonko in their prime, they clearly made it out of the GVI alright. God Valley Institute. You on the same page? Alright. That's why I say that context is key when understanding how strong somebody is. So until we get more information on Roger's fighting prowess, we can only say that he was on par with Garp in his prime, not stronger. Any higher would be speculation, and any lower is just plain disrespect. But I may be wrong. If you think Roger is stronger than Garp, leave a comment and we can talk this out like gents. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know if you guys want me to make any more of these analysis videos. 
kind of had a lot of fun going back watching the Roger stuff uh, just to get some clarity when I made this video. Um, so thanks for watching and until next time, what's up?